interesting parable that all the way back in 1956 we started conducting studies how to do this and the first problem was is how to get people to sleep because you can't take a subject and say now go to sleep you have to and you do not want to give them uh, chemicals or drugs to go to sleep because that won't serve the purpose so we began to use sound to help people to get to sleep and that's how we first began to get into the technology of what we have since become Newly rediscovered ancient mysteries have unlocked an amazing new digital science in the field of auditory relaxation and sleep inducement. And now you have the opportunity to be among the benefactors of this state-of-the-art innovative phenomena of digital frequency-induced relaxation therapies and experience firsthand the genesis of this fascinating alternative, the all-natural, life-enhancing, rejuvenating sleep aid known in the field of auditory sciences as the Orpheus Tone. If you know someone suffering from the stress and anxieties of chronic insomnia or the devastating effects of long-term sleeplessness, you may have found their solution. Or are you yourself among the millions of individuals experiencing profound vexations of sleep deprivation or suffering from the serious side effects of drugs such as nightmares, anxiety attacks, or nervousness that leave you physically drained and mentally exhausted in the mornings when you should be rejuvenated, well rested, and ready for the exhilarating day ahead? Finally, for many, there's now a solution to this age-old problem. After years of exhaustive research, the Emmy award-winning auditory technologists of U.S. Audio Incorporated in conjunction with the Sophageo Frequency Research Institute have developed a groundbreaking all-natural, drug-free, relax and sleep aid. Secret excursions infused with a newly rediscovered Orpheus tone suspended within the perfect harmonic balance of the Fibonacci sequence in what is perhaps the first real-world practical application of Rodin's quantum vortex-based mathematics, the Sophageo Frequency Institute's secret excursions digital relax and sleep aids containing the Orpheus tone has elevated the emerging field of therapeutic digital relaxation aids and auditory sleep inducement to a whole new and true paradigm of effectiveness. It's simply nothing short of revolutionary. important health news for millions of Americans who use sleeping pills. I'm in that group. Could they be doing more harm than good? NBC's chief medical editor, Dr. Nancy Snyderman, is here to talk about the findings of what I would say is an alarming new study. Nancy, good morning. Good morning, Matt. And I think this is one of those times the headline is frightening and the devil is in the details. It is not a perfect study, but nonetheless, there are some things to talk about. All right, but 10 percent of Americans, and by the way, I think that number is low, I probably, think it's probably low too. use some kind of a prescription sleep aid at night. Right. And they do that because they want to increase their health benefits. They want a good night's sleep. They want to feel better. What are the results of the study saying? Well, this study says that people who use any of these hypnotic agents, I don't care if it's, you know, any, any of the ones that you Ambien. see. Ambien. is the most commonly prescribed right. of all of them. There's a fourfold increase of death. What's the cause and effect here? Well, here's the issue. It isn't cause and effect. It's an association. And I know that seems like it's really mincing words, but scientifically it means that just because I give you an Ambien doesn't mean you're going to die. But people who take these pills have an increased risk of death. So what are the associated factors? Depression, anxiety, sleeping problems, maybe sleep apnea, accidentally taking one instead of a breath minute and you get in your car and you have a motor vehicle accident. Those are the kinds of associations. People who might have riskier jobs, travel more, um, may work weird hours. But, okay, so, so all these are confounding things. These, I, are and seen, I know these seems to be more behavioral. Well, it is. As opposed to, I'm taking this pill three times a week and it's doing X to my lungs, heart, 
or something right. else. But we are talking about altering behavior. You take these medications to alter the behavior to get more sleep. So this is a behavioral study. Now, there have been 24 of these kinds of studies. 18 of them have shown an increased risk of mortality. I, we tried to talk the researcher back him off of the, what his big statement yesterday. He wouldn't budge. He basically said, look, I don't think these are safe. The pharmaceutical industry will counter saying, look, there have been lots of safety Well, let me studies. speak for the pharmaceutical yeah. industry. Here's what they say in the statement. Prescription medicines undergo thorough clinical trials regulated by the FDA and are FDA approved on the basis of their safety and effectiveness. Biopharmaceutical research companies also work closely with the FDA through the life of approved medicines, continuing to monitor the medicines for safety And issues. they're absolutely right. These things go through clinical trials, they seem safe, etc. But what this researcher has found, and he crunched the numbers 10 ways to Sunday, if you take as little as 18 pills a year, the data stays, All right. you are at risk. Briefly, your advice to people like me then this morning who takes one of these prescription drugs a few times a week is what? Well, you need to take it because you have wacky hours. I totally get that. A lot of people take them just because they think they have to clock in seven or eight hours and they take them unnecessarily. These are strong medicines. You use them when you need them. You use them sparingly. We've become a pill-popping society. These things and alcohol don't mix. These things and other anti-anxiety drugs don't mix, and I think that's where a lot of people get into trouble. Dr. Nancy Snyderman, Nancy, thanks. And it's I okay, Matt. It. I'm fine. Our health news tonight is about the lack of sleep and the real consequences for those who don't get enough of it, including the very real increased risk of stroke. The story from our chief medical editor, Dr. Nancy Snyderman. Sleep, a rare commodity in many homes across this country, may be even more important than previously thought. Sleep experts presenting their latest findings in Boston reveal that middle-aged or older Americans who habitually get too little sleep increase their risk of stroke dramatically. When you have this sleep loss, uh, you increase um, inflammation in the body. Um, you also, uh, there's a lot of dysregulation and blood pressure as well. And this affects many American adults. The number of people who report a full eight hours or more of sleep each night has dropped 10 percent in the last decade to only 28 percent in the U.S. There's not enough hours in the day. I'm a truck driver and I work 10 to 14 hours a day. Sometimes you just worry too much. Stroke, the fourth leading cause of death in this country, occurs when blood flow to the brain is interrupted. It's more common in people with high blood pressure and sleep deprivation can be a contributing factor. Today's study says that those who get less than six hours of sleep at night are four times as likely to suffer a stroke. What makes this new research even more concerning is that the more than 5,600 people included were not overweight or suffering from inactivity, also key risk factors for stroke. A reason, experts say, to make sleep a priority. is just making a commitment to stopping working, stopping all those activities earlier in the night and giving themselves adequate opportunity. There may be some connection between a lack of sleep and then disturbances in the cardiovascular system. And while the results are preliminary, the numbers really point to a worrying conclusion that in addition to your weight and not smoking and getting some fresh air, and yes, all the things we know to do, sleep has to be on that list. Newly rediscovered ancient mysteries have unlocked an amazing new digital science in the field of auditory relaxation and sleep inducement. And now you have the opportunity to be among the benefactors of this state-of-the-art innovative phenomena of digital frequency-induced relaxation therapies and experience firsthand the genesis of this fascinating alternative, the all-natural, life-enhancing, rejuvenating sleep aid known in the field of auditory sciences as the Orpheus Tone. If you know someone suffering from the stress and anxieties of chronic insomnia or the devastating effects of long-term sleeplessness, you may have found their solution. Or are you yourself among the millions of individuals experiencing profound vexations of sleep deprivation or suffering from the serious side effects of drugs such as nightmares, 
anxiety attacks, or nervousness that leave you physically drained and mentally exhausted in the mornings when you should be rejuvenated, well-rested, and ready for the exhilarating day ahead? Finally, for many, there's now a solution to this age-old problem. After years of exhaustive research, the Emmy award-winning auditory technologists of U.S. Audio Incorporated in conjunction with the Sophageo Frequency Research Institute have developed a groundbreaking all-natural, drug-free, relax and sleep aid. Secret Excursions, infused with a newly rediscovered Orpheus tone. Suspended within the perfect harmonic balance of the Fibonacci sequence in what is perhaps the first real-world practical application of Rodin's quantum vortex-based mathematics, the Sophageo Frequency Institute's Secret Excursions Digital Relax and Sleep Aids containing the Orpheus Tone has elevated the emerging field of therapeutic digital relaxation aids and auditory sleep inducement to a whole new and true paradigm of effectiveness. It's simply nothing short of revolutionary.